not salute, but gods! Glory to the gods of Vishya, Shiva, and Vishnu! We are back in another episode of Victoria 2, Heart of Darkness. India. Let's play. So, guys, we are back here in this Let's Play Austin's where I have taken a big, gigantic hiatus. Like, it has been almost nearly two weeks since I played this. So... Don't get mad at me if I forget anything and forgot anything. I'm just basically going off of these notes I have. Well, I don't really have notes right here. I just have like mental notes I made to myself, and I kind of and I kind of like rewatch some of my old vo footage so I can kind of get what I'm doing. So basically, a couple things. One, we need to extend our factories. That is the first thing we have to do because we have a massive population that does not seem to want to die. Literally, I don't think they want to die. So we're just gonna have to keep extending the population. Extending all of these factories. I mean, we have a bunch of people. I'm also going to build one more factory here because we're doing so... We're just doing so good. This is going to be our first... Uh, I could build a steamer shipyard somewhere else. Th there's got to be a better place for a steamer shipyard. I know there's got to be a better place for a steamer shipyard. Seriously. All right, you guys. We can build more of this. We can build more of that. Seriously, where do you build a steamer shipyard? I, I remember this... Okay. How about this? Dry on, on or produce. Okay, let's just. This is gonna take a very long time, so I'll get okay, back. Okay, guys, that was kind of entirely important. It's because I realized the province that I can build while well, I was thinking of this province right here. It's a little bit too crowded already with the factories, because I have to make sure this is my main fuel we finally place, because this is like the only place we can get fuel. So, yeah, that kind of stinks. And then it also stinks that it's not producing any coal. That's not really a problem if it's a problem because I didn't really produce coal in my country. Anyways, so, guys, what are we going to be doing in this episode? Well, in this episode, we are going to be talking about the Chinese menace. Yeah! Because that's always fun to talk about the news. It's always fun to talk about Chinese on the news. Yeah! Okay. So, guys, basically, the Chinese are a threat to us now. They are a threat to our sovereignty. They are a threat to our power. And I don't like that. I don't like the fact that they are now even with us. Even more frightening is the fact that they, I can basically consider them better than us. And that's scary. When, a ch when we have to admit that something is better than us, it's scary. Okay? And I don't like that. And if I let the Chinese continue with their power, I guarantee in a couple years we will be dealing with a whole bunch of duty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start... Well, first off, hey... Stop the Chinese advance. I have to stop the Chinese from whatever advance they're going to try to do to conquer any more land. They have to, basically, I have to say this. They have to stay this size. If they get any bigger, they, we will not be able to contain them anymore. And we need to be able to contain China. Because if China breaks out, we are dead. <laughs> As an Indian sovereign nation, we are dead. And that is something I don't want to look forward to. And let me build, let me move my new ships over here. Yay, new ships. Dang, I hate these flies. Okay, okay, next thing, making new troops. As you guys know, we went through a crucial war that basically drained our manpower. So, we're going to need some new army men, new troops, new guys in the cool uniforms that the, la that the ladies love. We're going to have to get that now. So, what we're going to do is build a massive new recruitment run. I'm going to start using armies that are not going to be staying here. So, let's see, this army is not going to be staying here. Let's see, we have one right there, we have one... Because basically, guys, I'm defending my entire... I'm not gonna... If there was a war between me and China right now, I'm not gonna let the Chinese get anything. I'm putting all my troops on the borders. That way, we are well protected against the Chinese men. So now, if they were to attack our, our friends, Burma, I don't really care. But actually, this will actually become a good point of contest, and I'll tell you why. Because we're going to be able to defend Burma with this, defend Burma and defend our land and stop the Chinese advance in one swift move. And that is, we are going to conquer Yuan. And I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for this and you guys have been praying that I would do this. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go and go take over Yuan. Because you know what? They are right next to us. They are an uncivilized power still, which is weird. Um, and you know what? They are right in the Chinese path. And since I already know we will go to war with China, China's already going to go to war with us at some point. I don't know exactly when. That's the problem, is that I don't know exactly when they will go to war. war. I, 
I don't know exactly when they will go to war, but they will go to war with us. It's just a matter of time. So, what I'm going to do is make sure that I have very, very powerful alliances to counteract whatever might happen. So I'm going to find who is ready to make new alliances. Germany, we're friends, aren't we? No, we are. Austria, we're friends, right? Don't you know we're friends? No, we aren't. Friends! Did I check you already? Yeah, we did. You guys are actually pretty close. If I was to increase relationships with you guys, I probably could get you guys up. And somebody was saying that Russia's population is about the same as mine. Let me check on that. Dang, it is. Wow. I really don't care because it doesn't matter. Population doesn't matter after a certain point in this game. Like, seriously. Uh, it really just matters if you have really built up, built up factories and that. I mean, look at Russia. It's supposed to be like... If we're going by population, Russia should be like one of the biggest powers right now, but it isn't. And that's because it doesn't actually have the, the actual um, people actually doing stuff. They have too many serfs in the land, basically. Alright. Anyways. Also, what we should also be doing at the same time is all this is also increasing the railways. Oh, somebody already did that for me. Oh, how sad. <laughs> I was actually hoping to do that, but okay, maybe we can increase that. Yay! And our colony, our one awesome colony right there. Uh, I mean, Dubai is okay, but that one awesome colony of Di, of Dijubita, Dijuba, it's Dijuba. It's gonna be called Dijuba from now on because I actually, you know, I did find a way that you could actually name provinces. Ah, let me see if I can remember how to do it. Um, shoot, when you need. <laughs> When you need to remember something like this, it does not come to you on technically live television. So, I don't remember how to rename it right now. I'll probably remember off screen be like, oh yeah. But, you can rename provinces and what I should start doing is naming all this James. James East, James West, Shredder Jamestown. Uh, nah, I'm just joking people, I'm just joking. Actually, if you guys have any good names for any provinces, please give me, please give me a note. I might change it that. Anyways, let's get back to this. Okay, yes, our administrators are gonna be banned. We're gonna be hunted, scolded. Do do whatever you want, British. I really don't care. Oh, wait, was I building a new army already? Shoot. Oh, shoot. I am building a new army. That probably means I was, like, reinforcing the already dead ones. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. I don't know where these... Okay, uh... We're just gonna have to... Basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wait for all these new army men to come out, and I'm just going to... Divide them up once that happens. So let me see. You guys. You guys are still traveling. Yeah, the part... We're definitely going to have to get all of our troops into position because we... The, the fact it takes so long for us to travel through all this land definitely tells you that we need to build better stuff. Just... Railways are important to India's sovereignty. Railways are definitely important to India's sovereignty. Okay, in the Valley of the Kings, we want to do it, of course. Infamy gain, initial pressure. Why not? Excellent! Good! You guys said yes! I didn't even have to, like, pressure you or anything. You guys just said yes. Thank you. Uh, internal pressure, everyone. Internal pressure from the big guys. Because now we're big boys, and we can basically do whatever we want. Oh, okay. So now these guys are all creating new men. I wonder, what the heck was I creating? I, I, I really can't remember, because I should also mention... I, this is probably about the time you guys should realize that I basically skipped through the war with Portugal. Because it was not very important. Okay? Like, it, it was seriously, legitly not very important war. Okay, let's see. Is anyone, like, missing an army or something? No, that army's pretty much made. It's also dying, so I'm gonna have to look for supply limits. Okay, so... Anywhere but here, it will survive. Okay, let's move you right over here, then. You guys. Anywhere but there. Okay. Let's move you right there. Can you guys survive here? No. No one can survive here. Let's go right there anyways. You guys will be my new troops out over there. Anyways. Yeah, I guess I guess I'm making I guess I was making a new army already. Uh, I, I thought I wasn't, but I don't know. Maybe I was. And let's see, what is this? Oh, and a colony! Yay! I know I think I know what this is. Nepo is right here. Yes! Oh yeah, I know my land! I know my land. It's a new place, so that means let's create the first factory here just to get it started. Um Let's make an electrical gear factory because we are all... Wait, can I build a... No, I cannot build an automobile factory yet. That stinks. But we've got that new factory there just to get workers start to going there. Because that's, that's really what we want to do. Loved. 
and oppressed and loved and more oppressed. We just want them to feel all around what India is feeling right now. Oppression. Because I really don't give any rights to anyone. Nor will I try to. In this Let's Play, I am strictly keeping to my guns. I am not giving... Have I given any rights yet? No, I have not. We are barely into the point where I've given them elective monarchy. I am not giving them any rights of anything. No safety regulations, no overtime pay, no nothing. I am not giving them any rights. <laughs> I'm a terrible leader, but you know what? It works. I don't have to pay them, and I don't have to live with them. Probably hurts my economy in the long run, though, but it's still what I think is right. And you know what? That's honestly what we need to think of in the end, is what do we think is right? Okay. Right now, in terms of administration power, we are good. Taxes, I'm going to keep the taxes about the same. Some people might say, well, you might need to increase... No, because as soon as this is over, this whole kind of good feel thing going on, my taxes are going to go back to regular, so... It's it's kind of good that we keep them like this. Okay. So I'm assuming that this army was going to be built over here. Okay, so yeah, we're building an entirely new army over here. I don't know why. Rock me in my cradle, or send out those some neighbors. Ah, uh, whatever. I can make friends with Ghana. Kingdom of Ghana's here, though? Ghana's here? Really? Long live India! Yeah! Okay, French. French, Africa. Oh my goodness. Like, German Africa just looks like so intimidating compared to the rest of Africa. Like, French Africa is kind of intimidating, and then British Africa is just like, what the heck did you do, British? You did not exploit your colonies enough. And some, I'm, I'm surprised no one gets mad at me when I say that. They're just... Everyone's just like, yeah, yeah, we, under we we completely understand what you mean, James. It's a horrible thing, you know, you just have to do it in this game. It's just something that you have to do, and no one's... I, I'm really, like, legitly, guys, I'm surprised you guys don't mention that. Yes! Oh, yeah! Uh-huh! We did it! We did it! We discovered the North Pole! We should not have discovered North Pole because we're all the way over here. But we discovered! We discovered! Oh, yeah! And my, when my factories collapse, that means I'm doing something wrong in one of my regions. Um, trends of law, we're gonna have to support the factories for a little bit, um, an alternate way for them to make any money was that we could get them a paper factory? Well, what does trends of law, I know trends of law is actually on natural Indian proper, so, let me check regions for a second, trends of law, Cyprus, Bombay, I know it's, it's somewhere near here, trends of law, right here, okay, let's see, where's your algae up, you actually produce some, some rubber, good. Oh my goodness, the non produces rubber. You almost that is almost a reason for Oh my goodness, you produce How does that make sense? Wait a minute, this is oh they do Wow, Johor, you are just a viable province. Like you know, seriously, if they didn't make you more viable, they just made you ten times more viable. The fact that you can now get rubber from them. Wow. Just Oh my goodness, wow France, you are sitting on like the rubber capital. Good job guys. Good job. Okay. Back to my empire, though. Um, you guys are sitting on rubber, so... You know, naturally, something that requires rubber would be pretty... So... A it wouldn't be bad to build a steel gauge factory. I mean, it would get some of its benefits. And it would probably... I am... I'm trying to make sure I maximize the steel market as much as possible. Not steel market, the, uh, factory market. Okay, let's upgrade that. Let's see, anything else that needs upgrading? No. And it's, the funny thing is, is that I still know we have, like, hidden provinces here and there. I really just, I just gotta build just factories here just so I know that they have province. <laughs> like, I'm not building these because I really need them. I just build them because I need to know I actually still have factories. And we can basically just monopolize the fabric factory business. I know that already. Himalayas, I'm guessing we not produce I know anything. produces if I gain a uh, regular clothes factory and then build a... Luxurious clothes factory. It's always gonna have the product of this producing by it Because I remember when I had cashmere in my uh, Punjab let's play I remember like oh cool. That's like the only province around me that has this little tiny silkworm Except now I just realized my own capital has it which now made me feel like an idiot But they will also be producing real regular clothes factories, which is gonna be great for the overall economy Okay, so my new troops are being built right here um, yeah, I must, I must have prepared for this. I must have known that I was going to be building troops. I was going to be building new armies to fight against the tyranny of the, uh, um, uh, people. People who live in the East, Asia, 
live in the East Asia region. Um, I'm just joshing with you guys. I know it's China. <laughs> I bet there's some people that are going to be like, did he really not know that there was China right in front of his eyes? Yeah, no, I know. I know, guys. I was just teasing you. You know, you have to, you, as a YouTuber, you really just got to learn how to laugh at yourself at some points. So let's see. Um, these are going to become very outdated here very, very soon. I don't know exactly when, but they're going to become outdated. Um, yeah, I can't believe I already thought of this. Dang, I'm really smart. Uh, give, give me credit, guys. I Sometimes even I doubt my own intelligence. That was really smart of me. Okay, and why? That was not really smart of me. Okay, you guys. Well, I, I can't believe I'm supporting 80, 87 men here, first of all. Um, second off, go right here. Because we need you guys to kind of stay right here so we have a big gigantic connecting thing. Let's see, do I need any more railroads being built? Okay, click extend. Stockpile T. Click extend. Yay! I mean, look at all this land. Oh, and then Goa is still building up. We're still building up our new province of Goa. How's our this province? Okay, we're still building up this province because this province is awesome. That's going to be the awesome, like I said, that's the awesome African colony. The best colony in the world. I don't think anyone else is going to beat us. No. No. Okay. Anti-rationalism is about to be discovered. Colonial exposition. The riches of the colony flow through our nation's coffees, but it is not until the monetary tones our nation benefits for all my provinces in the new worlds, the single biggest game for our colonial presence lies in the continuity expanding venues and fields which our technological advances can be applied, tried, and tested. Certain well off, I'm either gonna try, in India have decided to fund a colonial expedition to celebrate our colonies, our missionaries, and our empire. The question is how we should advise the exposition. A celebration of our technological powers or a grand statue to the Empire. A rousing cheer for the Empire! Along live the, the captains of industry and technology. Why not? <laughs> yeah, you guys didn't think I'd choose that one, did you? Uh, I, that actually, there was a reason. Because I wanted, I wanted to make sure that we got that uh, this pretty quickly. Because we're going to have to do a little bit more balancing. Because now, since we are technologically a power... I have to really start thinking about what we need to do next. But we have all of the uh, self-rationalisms and we are really, like, we are doing exceptionally well right now. Now what I wish would happen is that I could take over all these little states, but that's not really going to happen. And why do I feel like I've, oh yeah, now. Nah. You know, this entire video I completely forgot to do a Kaza Spella against Yuan. Oh, dang. I think... <sighs> wow. That made me feel kind of sad there. <laughs> um, I, you know, I'm going to get a... Con since, I'm, since I already have basically all my soldiers on the border, that now I'm going to have to really worry about China. China is now going to be really expanding. It's a good thing I'm not... <laughs> It's a good thing I jumped up to like a thousand, because this would be really bad and terrible right about now. Um, sure, why not? China, we don't like you. But, oh shoot. So I guess I will have to do the war next time, but I guess I'll do a demand, establish protectorate over the Nam now. Because I basically, like I said, our empire is basically expanding to all of Asia. We're going to have to deal with China though, that's kind of scary now. I, I got too caught up in my own... In my own thinking, I completely forgot about the whole reason why we are kind of scared right now. Why is China peeing, oh, not China, India is kind of peeing their pants right now. Because we know that there's a big, gigantic China, and it's about to unite. And you know what? If China's going to fight me over this little region, let it be known as the war that caused, <laughs> caused two old friends to go... Oh my goodness, that is so scary! Oh my goodness, that they are bigger now... They are bigger now than the Han Empire. They're not quite as... Their next target is either me or Mongolia. As soon as they conquer Manchuria, I have to really be worried. Or Manchuria and Mongolia, I have to really be worried. I don't think they're going to go quite after me just yet. But I have to really seriously be worried now. Yeah, this is what you get, guys. Yeah, just, just take a lesson from me. Never forget about your enemy when you're doing a Let's Play. Never forget about your enemy. 
Okay, let's see. Do I have most of my factories expanded yet? Keep expanding, keep expanding. Because I our, our factories are doing... Okay, this... this If we do that, then I probably get a lot back. Okay, here... Okay, you guys are dying. I want you guys to live. Okay, just keep expand. This factory is just going to do so good. Okay, and you... I don't think we need you anymore, honestly. Like, I'm going to... Like, seriously, here soon, I'm just going to start deleting all the factories that are seriously making no dough for us. And just hindering off our production-wise. But yeah, oh my goodness. I can't believe I forgot that! Oh, Japan! Did Japan get ripped out of my sphere again? Is, is somebody trying to fight me for Japan? Because they're my friends. My friends, China, not yours. Though I'm like, if, if I could like deal with all these little tiny Indian states, which is the real reason why we have so much trouble, it's because these Indian states, if they were not just so like... If they could only have more rebellions, that's the only thing I wish they had, more rebellions, this game would be so much quicker. But yeah, I guess... Man, gosh, I really can't believe I forgot about them. Okay, and I'm definitely going to get into c conflict with their parents, or the great and utter mighty Chinese. You guys ready for this? I, I bet you guys are ready for this. I'm hoping my alliance, I'm hoping I can trick the AI here and let the Russians join me in, because if, they're in the, if the Chinese, because me and Russia could deal with the Chinese. We're the only two powers that could. Okay, and oh, there's a telephone. Okay, this would be perfect right here in Trenzalor. Right here. This would be perfect. Okay, where else would this be perfect? Right here. Now I have to oversaturate the telephone market. Um, Let's see. Any other? Do we have any other glass producing places? There's some. Right here. Telephone. Oh, we don't it's have any glass producing Anyways. Places. Yeah. I got all my, basically, I got all my troops lined up on the border. They don't have two powerful allies. They are directly allied with the Nob. That is even greater news. So that means it's no question that we are going to go to war with China, but we need to go to war with China. Like, this isn't, this is not just me being stupid, guys. We need to go to war with China, and we need to split them up a little bit. I'm probably, what I'm probably going to do is probably release the Nation of Gunzai, because that's really where you get most of your power from, is right here. But, gosh, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm just going to do it. Likely, very likely, okay. How much do you want to bet, guys, that the, the Russians don't join in? Okay, Japan did not join in. I did not expect that. Russia joins in! Okay. Now we have a war. Now we have a bloody war. So, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. We are going to war with China. Woohoo! Extremely genderistic James, signing off. See you guys next time.